Welcome to Dateline Polk with news about your county government. I'm your host, Connor Updike. Today you'll learn about county commission actions from the July 11th board meeting. By state statutes, this is the month the board must adopt non ad valorem assessments that will appear on residents' truth and millage, also known as trim notices, in August. First, the board adopted a tentative rate resolution for the 2017-18 street lighting assessments for various neighborhoods throughout the county. The board also set fees for residential waste collection in unincorporated Polk. These rates will be $144.50 for collection and $44 for disposal. The board adopted a tentative rate resolution and assessment role for the 2017-18 nuisance abatement liens to be collected on November tax bills. Polk County has undertaken a program to improve various properties throughout the county by requiring the correction of code violations for junk, debris, overgrown lots, unsecured pools, infestation, vacant structures open to the public, building numbering, and storage of abandoned or distressed vehicles. When not corrected by property owners, the county undertakes the abatement of the nuisance and may impose a lien on the properties where owners have failed or refuse to reimburse the county for costs incurred for improving the property. By adopting this resolution, the board is taking the next step required to collect the liens on the 2017-18 tax bills. Following the completion of improvements of water and wastewater infrastructure in the Skyview neighborhood of Lakeland, the board adopted a tentative rate resolution for Skyview residents in their Municipal Service Benefit Unit. This is the second year of the MSBU charge, which will last for 20 years. The board also adopted the tentative rate resolution for fire fee assessments for unincorporated Polk County. Rates will remain the same as the current fiscal year, with owners of a single-family residence paying a $191 fee, which is less than last year's $195 fee. The plats for Grove at Highland Meadows and the Reserve at Highland Meadows were accepted by the board for conditional approval. The board approved and ratified a subcontract revision with the Ounce of Prevention Fund of Florida and Healthy Families Florida. Currently in Polk County, more than 600 families are served through this program managed by Healthy Families. The program includes a home visitation program for high-risk families and promotes positive parenting, self-sufficiency, and healthy child development. Ultimately, the program aims to prevent child abuse and neglect. The program receives more than $1.3 million from a state grant, which is matched by Polk County with $327,250. The board also allocates an additional $715,872 for the program through the general fund. A resolution adopting the Housing and Neighborhood Development's Fiscal Year Action Plan also was approved during the Tuesday meeting. The program provides programs that benefit low and moderate income residents in Polk. In other news, the board recognized Country Boy Pest Control as a Polk County Company of Excellence. It was proclaimed July 2017 as Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. Antoinette Pollard, representing the Pieces to Peace Counseling, accepted the proclamation. Well, I am the lead counselor at Pieces to Peace Counseling. We offer a variety of counseling services as far as individual, couples, and if anybody is experiencing anxiety, depression, any other counseling issues, we are able to assist them with that. And so today I received a proclamation in regards to National Minority Mental Health Awareness Month, just trying to help destigmatize the negative impact that minorities think about counseling. So just trying to put that into a more positive light and let them know that it is okay to reach out for services and that there are individuals in their community that are willing to help them. 
It was proclaimed July 2017 as Lakes Appreciation Month. Paul Thomas, representing the Lakes Education Action Drive, accepted the proclamation. Well, hi, I'm Paul Thomas. I'm representing Lakes Education Action Drive, LEAD, a nonprofit organization here in Polk County that promotes wise use of our lakes and aquatic resources. We do a lot of lake cleanup events throughout the year. You can find those scheduled at our website, lakeseducation.org. Today is our proclamation for the month of July, which is Lakes Appreciation Month. We've worked with the county on this for a number of years, and we're urging our citizens to get out, get out on our lakes, enjoy the waters that we have here in the county, and uh, do your bit for, for cleaning up. If you're out there, you don't have to be part of an organized event. If you see something in the water that shouldn't be there, please take, take it out and dispose of it properly. Lakes uh, Appreciation Month was started by an organization called NOMS, North American Lake Management Society, so it's not just here in Florida, it's a national movement. So other states are doing this very same thing. It's a privilege to, rec to uh, be here to represent LEAD, and it's a privilege to work with the county on this lake cleanup effort. The board also recognized the Youth Leadership Polk Program, which was in attendance for Tuesday's meeting. Polk Vision launched a pilot youth leadership Polk program designed to expose 6th and 7th graders to um, leadership positions and all the career opportunities available here in Polk County. We are exposing the girls of Girls Inc. Lakeland on um, different career opportunities as well as women who hold positions of leadership and authority. This is a six week program. We are going around the county to the courthouse, um, Circle B, Lakeland Regional Health, and they are um, engaging with speakers and um, learning about the county. Samuel K. Johnson was appointed to the Polk County Roadway Advisory Committee for the remainder of a two-year term that ends in December. In public hearings, during the afternoon session, the board held several public hearings on a variety of items. Those items up for consideration included the board approved a small-scale comprehensive plan amendment to change the future land use designation on 4.25 acres from agricultural residential rural to leisure recreational in the rural development area. The property, which will eventually become the Kissimmee River Park and Marina, is on a canal that feeds into the Kissimmee River near Lake Kissimmee State Park in Eastern Polk. A small-scale comprehensive plan map amendment to change the future land use designation of 1.09 acres from agricultural residential rural to rural cluster center in the rural development area near Fort Meade was adopted by the board Tuesday. The Pentecostals of Lake Wales received approval by the board for its request of a small-scale comprehensive plan amendment that would change the future land use designation on 1.74 acres from institutional to commercial enclave in the suburban development area. The board approved an ordinance Tuesday that changes the land development code subdistrict map on 13.35 acres from Business Park Center 1 to Business Park Center 2 in the Lake Wales area near Waverly Road. The board granted a variance to the Outdoor Concert Noise Ordinance for an event at the Triple Canopy Ranch, which is east of Lake Wales. The event will be held from December 30th to January 1st, 2018. A Land Development Code text amendment to establish medical marijuana dispensaries as a conditionally permitted use in specific land use districts was approved. Well, that wraps up this edition of Dateline Polk. To keep current with programs and progress in the county, visit us online at polk-county.net or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We encourage you to join us at the next scheduled board meeting at 9 a.m. Tuesday, July 25th. I'm Connor Updike. Thanks for watching.